So Zach, on the joystick, we have H3 and H4 functions. Could you show me how to set those up within the Datatronic 5 monitor? Yep, very simple functions to set up. So from your tractor home screen, you can see the box right here. We have an H3 and an H4 currently showing a couple icons on it. So right now, H3 is your auto guide engage button. H4 is hitch lower. So right now, those functions would be very easy to use right under your thumb. Say you're controlling valves 1 and 2 at the same time. So we want to go in and make a change to those settings. We can simply tap the box, which takes us into the menu here where we can actually set those functions up. Or from the home screen, we can go into our main menu, find the joystick icon, which just looks like the joystick on the armrest, and we're into the same page. So from here, depending on how the tractor's set up, you might have a couple of configurations you can choose from for, say, running a front hitch and front hydraulics. In the upper corner, we have a box that's going to allow you to choose the hydraulic valve that controls or that is controlled by the hydraulic button at the rear fender of the tractor. For instance, right now we're on valve 2. And this valve is saved in the operator profile. Here in the lower corner, we actually have an image of the joystick. And you can see the H3 and the H4 buttons. This is where you would go to actually make a change to what those buttons do. So say we don't want H3 to be an auto guide engage button, we actually want to make that a different function. Let's say we want to make that as a differential lock function. So we can choose differential lock, and then we click OK, and now we can see it's relabeled, so now you can engage and disengage your differential lock with the H3 button. And let's say H4 we want to run a hydraulic valve, so let's say H4, we want to put remote number 1 into float. So we'll just take a look at remote 1, choose float, click OK. And now when we go back to our home screen, you can see these are relabeled as diff lock, valve 1 into float. Very simple process to make the change. One more thing to point out is you actually have to go into that joystick page and actually lock and unlock the functionality. So if you're locked, the buttons will not be functional. If you're unlocked, that's when you actually can make the controls. And it is important to call out that the functionality of the H3 and H4 buttons are saved within the operator profile, so you can pull them up uh, as you would any of the other settings in that profile. Thanks, Zach.